Sorry about this, nephew. Can't let you go back out there. Let Krieger and the Tinkerer kill each other. Go back to being Spider-Man when the heat dies down. And what? Just hide down here? I don't get to pick and choose when I'm Spider-Man. I gotta stop Finn. No, you gotta survive. I've been trying to teach you that, but you don't listen. You want me to survive so bad? Why sell me out to Krieger? Wasn't a sellout. <sighs> yeah. I'm serious. You were never supposed to get caught. Krieger broke our deal. You want it back in the family, and that's the best you could do? I saved your life! You threw me in a cell! To protect you! Like this is protecting me? Damn it, Miles! I'm not gonna lose you too! And I'm not gonna let people die just to save my skin. You underestimated me. <laughs> <laughs> me on this! I don't want to, but I can't stay down here. Then I'll do what I have to. Keep you safe. This cloaking tech, I need to destroy it. This isn't about me at all. It's about you. You're afraid. Don't you turn this on me! trying to save you and I'm trying to save everyone else Proving myself to you. 
Throw yourself at enemies you can't beat. Know who else did that? Don't say his name! You want your mom to bury you too? I won't let you. Holograms? More tech from your buddies that rock on? I attack. You can't keep up. You're naive, Matthew. You? Still the kid looking up to Spider-Man. No, I'm the kid who knows people are looking up to me. Without your power, what are you? You are never gonna accept me as Spider-Man. The risk I gotta take? You're right. I'm done letting my family die trying to play hero. Which one's the real you? How far will you take? You're gonna kill yourself proving you deserve that mask? If that's what it takes. I told you you can't keep up! Back back, nephew! Man, please! Don't do this! Don't throw your life away! I'll do what I have to! Just like you! Come on! Give yourself away! I know I messed up. I let you down. We're family. Family? That didn't stop you from lying to me, manipulating me, fighting me? Being family isn't enough anymore. Doesn't have to be like this. You, me, hating each other? That's how it happened between me and your dad. I don't want to repeat that. I don't either, but I can't be the person you want to turn me into. I can't turn my back when people need me. I have to be better than that. Genki, my uncle just kidnapped me, he locked me up. What? Are you okay? I had to fight him. Then I said, I, I told him, we're done. We're good. I'm sorry. That's... That can't have been easy. It's what I had to do. 
I'm headed to the Science Center. Call me if things get bad in Harlem. I will. Good luck, Spider-Man. You see him close to renovation, and the underground moves right in. Finn's gotta be inside.
right. Let's see what kind of security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks. Which are locked and powered down. Need a new power source. Like that giant spinning mobile. to work. This is gonna work. This is working. A couple more. This is working. inside. Winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. this. You and me. She's got to be with our project. Down that hall. The 
rocket game. Did I win or did she? Guess it doesn't matter now. Project while we're still young. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign like real scientists. Today, Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. When's Rick gonna get here? He just texted. Said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. Since the mid-20th century, scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, someday you might see the brightly striped clownfish, or even the menacing anglerfish. I'm naming that one Howard. You name one. Uh, Leviathan. <laughs> Love it! Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What, you scared? Of sharks, the dark, tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. You and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Didn't you used to date a marine by... Algae farms are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of products, from colorants to pharmaceuticals. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. Let's go to the main hall. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. 
shape memory alloy. For memory metal, Oscorp scientists created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery, and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out. Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the Red Planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. Ooh, we gotta play. Oh, come on, it's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Never. Oh, faster! Come on, Rocket Buddy! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Go, 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 go! Gotcha! Found something I'm better at than you. Not for long. This Oscorp broker adapted from models currently used on the moon, can be operated as a man or unmanned vehicle. Used to carry minerals and find water sources, the Oscorp rover would make exploration possible on Mars. Scans for minerals, carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> Shiny? Those are portable adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. Would you ever move to space? You know, if you could. Only if my family came to. Just on my own. I would. A chance to start or make a name for yourself. Or get into a galactic battle with aliens. It was nice of your dad to drop us off. We would have gotten here faster if we turned on the sirens. <laughs> Definitely would have made an entrance. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones would work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, hey, look. It's solar mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light-sensitive lock. 
Now we need something we could slide under the door. Something long and flat. Something that can be both. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. Think it's a meta? That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I'll attach the sticker. Let's get that door open. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with the neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh from multiple entry points. Hmm. Do you think you can handle it? With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll supply the coffee. Well done, Peter. I couldn't do this without you. We should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our lunch break. Oh, Doc, I'm so sorry, but I've got to take the afternoon off. It's an emergency. This is either genius or really, really stupid. If we open our own research lab someday, that's what I'm naming it. Genius or really, really stupid. For all your R&D needs. <laughs> I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. No, not quite. That worked! We did it! Come on, our project awaits. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. Oscorp Science Station, positioned at one of two stable Lagrange points between Earth and the Moon, could one day be a permanent home for human scientists and explorers. Man, it'd be so cool to live on a space station. One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond, and someday, 
Settling our solar system. Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey, we can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16... 17, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. Cultivating agriculture in nutrient-enriched fluids, what we call hydroponics, could make farming in space a reality. Wonder if they can grow flowers in space. They're probably more interested in food. Why? You trying to impress someone? I like to be prepared. In case I get a crush on a cute astronaut. <laughs> okay. This engine, used in the Apollo space program, is one of the most powerful inventions that uses liquid fuel. Today, Oscorp is building on that technology to maximize fuel efficiency, making deep space exploration possible. The most powerful single nozzle liquid fuel rocket engine ever made. I'd love to build something like that. You ready to go? Not yet. I still have a letter. Our project. Oh, we would you look at that genuine award winning scientists? No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, huddle up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles! I am not saying that. Fire it up! Fire it up! Fire 
Harlem. Now, before Finn destroys the reactor. Talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Ah, rocks on an underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe, my mom? We made it. There was about a dozen people. You're breaking up. Where are you, Yankee? 